I picked up this pot at Target. And I'm going to be using our Maker Studio ceramic paint today. And we're going to be using our Love, Hope, and Faith stencil. You can find that at chalkitupfancy.com along with the paints. The last time we did this, I showed you with the etching cream. Now this is the same type of mesh stencil that you're going to use, but now we're just switching the um, paint that we're going to use. And today we're using the ceramic paint. These stencils can be cut up to fit whatever project you're working on. And you always want to make sure you have a, uh, a water source nearby because you're going to want to wash your stencil as soon as possible when you're done using it. So you're going to start by taking your stencil off its protective coat and you want to save that for when you're done. That's where you're going to put it back. And you're going to stick it to whatever project you're doing here. I put it on this pot. Start by using the uh, spreader that you can pick up at chalkitupfancy.com. And this just, you apply the paint to the spreader and you spread it up and down. And then I go left to right and then remove the excess paint. Now the key with the mesh is you got to have some sort of pressure so that it seeps down through um, the mesh to your project. This does not require a lot of paint. And there's Faith. Now you're gonna want this to dry for maybe 48 hours and then it is permanent. But I just have a little uh, bowl of water here that I'm using and a little sponge to clean my stencil. Now I'm gonna see some stains of the white on the actual material part, but you want to work at getting that paint out of that mesh. And then you're going to dry it sticky side up. And then once it's dry, you're going to apply it back to your protective coat. Now I'm going to do hope on the other side. And I just use this tape to guide me so that my words are pretty much in the same area as the one in the front. Now, one other important tip, once you get your stencil on, you want to burnish with your finger. Um, you want to make sure there's no bubbles in the wording, and then you want to burnish with your finger all through the, the mesh wording area. Just to make sure there's a seal so that you don't get any bleed through. And if you did get bleed through, I just have baby wipes nearby and just wipe it off and do it again. So this time I'm going to use my finger. I wanted to see how that worked because I felt like the spreader was large and a little cumbersome to work with, with this small pot. So this time I used my finger and I actually preferred this method better. Um... and I just hand uh, applied it to my words. And there you go, this is so simple. And they're so fun. And I just love the modern look of uh, her designs. And again, you wanna make sure you clean the especially the mesh area and the stencil afterwards. I use a sponge and then I dry it sticky side up on a paper towel and then apply it back to my, its protective coat. I placed some paper in the bottom of my pot for some filler. I found this pink floral arrangement at Target for $3 and placed it in the pot. And then I placed some moss around the top and there you go. Now you have this adorable decor that says hope and faith. And it's a great Easter gift or a birthday gift for somebody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and now our mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com.